Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Happy Monday. So uh, I got my brother-in-law's wheels, I think it was like last week. Uh, yeah, it was last uh, Monday. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. It's like later in the afternoon. I was working on a video earlier today trying to get it out. The receiving of the wheels. I picked up the wheels and I want to show them to you guys. So check these wheels out. And I'm going to go ahead and mount the sprocket on it now. I mentioned that in my last video. And uh, hey, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, do me a favor and hit that like button. I'm currently at 864 subscribers. I'm trying to get a thousand, man. Help me get a thousand. And if you're interested in winning a Harley, I got a 2009 Ultra Classic and a 2010 Street Glide. They've both been redone from top to bottom. They got brand new paint jobs on them. They're beautiful. They have low miles on them. They run excellent. Yeah, head over to the website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt. And I'm also, for every item that I sell, I'm sending $11 to Tunnels to Towers. They're asking for $11 a month. I'm sending $11 for every item that I sell. So if you guys want to support a good cause and win a beautiful Harley, two options right now, the Ultra Classic and the Street Glide. Other than that, let's get into this video. So check these beauties out, guys. Woohoo! They got a little dirty when uh, Jim mounted mounted them because, of course, he had to. Anyways, I want to get the sprocket mounted on the rear wheel. I'm going to look that up in the book really quick and get that mounted so that I can actually start working on this girl. I haven't touched her in a few weeks now, and uh, I want to get that rear wheel on there. But I have to clean up that axle. I have to clean up that uh, belt cover and that uh, spacer right there that looks horrible. So anyways, I want to get the wheel ready and then I want to do a fitment check with the axle into the wheels. Make sure they're 20 because that's a 25 millimeter axle and those bearings should be 25 millimeter. We'll get all that checked out here real quick. So let me get set up, guys. All right, guys. So I cleaned up the wheel and I got the torque wrench. I got the bolts. I'm going to grab the sprocket. The bolts already have Loctite on them. All right. So the bolts are 5 8 bolts. And they sell them in the kit. They come with the Loctite and the washer already on them. This is for the sprocket. And the part number is 3109. We're gonna get them started now. It's funny because the thing about these bolts here is they ask you to torque them each one to 60 pounds and then back off half a turn and then torque them between 77 and 83 pounds. So I'm just gonna go to 80. That's the Loctite on there again. Wow, that one went down pretty quick. I'm going to be able to torque them on the floor because nope not so let's stand this baby up I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to torque them I don't know if I could torque them with this arm torque them like this okay that was 60. That's 60. That's 60. That's 60. All right. 
not 60. All right, so now it wants me to back off half a turn. That's half a turn. That's half a turn. That's half a turn. That's half a turn. Half a turn. So now we're gonna go up to 80 pounds, guys. I heard my brother just get home on his motorcycle, so let's tighten them all up again. All right, man, now we're gonna have to go 80. This is gonna be tough. Cause I'm having to hold this baby by myself. 80. Eighty. Eighty. I had already done that one. Eighty. Eighty. Last one. Eighty. Just check. Yep. 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 All right. I'm going to put this wheel back here. Whew. That got me all winded, guys. All right, so there's the front wheel. And there's the rear wheel that I just uh, that I just uh, put that on. So what I had to do on this particular year, it says from 2011 to 2015, take it to 60, back it off half a turn, and then anywhere between 78 and 83. So I went 80, and uh, I believe I did 35 on the rear on that one so the wheels all cleaned up i just got to get ready to put it in but i'm going to clean those parts up over there right now so give me a minute guys that's funny angelina i i went to get my business license and i <clears throat> i sent it to her and all of a sudden i get it was the last picture that i had sent mm -hmm. and so when i attached those two right now from the book to send to jim it attached the uh yeah Yeah, let me bring her down really quick, bro. Oh, this is the only thing I don't like about your motor. It sinks fast. Woo! Can you hold that? I'll hold this. Yeah, hold on. Watch your hands. Let me see if I can. I got my hand over here. I'm Did you, how about the belt? The belt's over there. It's, it's on the side. It's not able to go over it? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna press it fast so it'll go slow, okay? All right, so I got it with All right. All right, that's all right, I'll work on it. God damn, that's gonna look good, huh? <laughs> okay, so it's hitting the bow guard, so I do gotta come down more. Yeah, okay. You guys have to straighten the tire. Okay. Yeah, now you should be able to get in there. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's on there? about two seconds I don't know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the way it was yeah because it doesn't matter yeah it doesn't matter so I'm gonna put the spacer in here and uh, yeah, then you can put all this stuff together this beautiful and I think that was thing. like another reason why they did it that way because they could hold that in place while they put all this in place because yeah. the belt and the and the um the rod was the axle was the uh, more support than the yeah. that manage this stuff in place. Okay, so I got that in there. So I can see why they did that way. Yes, yes. Because then you can work with this easier. Yeah, you got anti C's right behind the scissors. It's a little too. Oh, you're going to lose this mic when you see this. Hopefully. 
And then you're right about not doing the uh, that chrome piece. You know why? Because it goes with the chrome rotor over here. Yeah. And so that makes a lot of sense. Oh, you know what? It was got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me take these gloves off. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Because it's going to match it with that. Um, Woo, he's going to lose his mind when he sees this. Yeah, he is. Woo. I'm going to put some bad ass. Woo. I might have to back those bolts up. Those bolts right there. I might have to back them up like half a turn. Because I'm going to have to adjust it anyways. What bolts? The... Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, the valve adjuster. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to back that up anyway. Oh, so yeah, yeah. To get the space you need. Dum dum de 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 dum dum. So that goes just like that. So we can read it. And this little guy goes right here. And then the L caliper. Little bit of oil on that little thing. Little slide in. Slide. Slide. Turn that wheel like this. There you go. You pull this puppy out. Hold on. Pull this one out real quick. So it's not going to let the wheel any forward any further with it. Yeah. Can you turn it back in again? The other way? Turn it that way? Yeah, like you're making a, a left turn just a little bit. Let it go. Now I gotta make sure I get this in there first. Okay. And then that. Oh, you gotta let those bolts out. Cause it's holding this thing from going in. So it's for the belt. Cause this part right here, this one here, yeah. is keeping that from going in. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, that from yes, going in. yes. All right, so that's what I was saying. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to the loosen bolt. those up. Let's use the ratchet. We're gonna go. Yeah, so then it'll fly all the way to the Then yeah. this side will come so over and give you and free you up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's your space. There you go. Now everything over here is going to be good. You got all the space you need. Oh, you're right. And I should be able to line all that yeah. up. Good space, but you gotta go with the USA space right there. Yeah, go like this. Okay. And then this comes back like that. Okay. And then that goes in there. You're absolutely right, brother. I'll hold this and I'll let you tap that. Okay. You got your with your mallet? I don't even gotta use the mallet, it's gonna go right in. I'll watch it. It is in there. And now you can do your adjuster because now the spacer is behind this guy. Yeah. You see what you need is right there. And the other one's behind that guy. So now you can adjust the belt and then tighten it. Yep, exactly. Thank you, my brother. I'm watching videos. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you're gonna lose mine when you see that. So then this goes on there like this. There you go. So, so I gotta go back in to him. Yeah. So we'll go ten. Oh yeah, the space is on there. Oh, you mean what's that? Yeah, because the space is right there. If you put your finger yeah. in there, you can feel the space. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight, so how's your belt feel? Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do the measure now. So let me put the, let me put, uh, oh, let me see, do the brakes now. So let me show these people really quick what my brother and I have done. Again, if it wasn't for my brother. So we got the new wheel in there. There's the axle, I mean the spacer. Here's the axle. 
spacer, sprocket, the belt's pretty good. There's a new rim. So on this side, you want to get the ABS sensor touching the uh, ABS bearing. Then the caliper goes in there, and then there is a spacer right here that goes on the inside, and then you got your washer, your nut, and your clip. Now I'm going to try to put the, uh, put the new brakes on there, so give me a second while I get ready. All right, so I'm going to take these brakes off. Ah. Yeah, it's all about the leverage, huh? Because I figured I'll get one more bite. One more bite. Mm -hmm. I, I need a ride for a long gun. But I don't know about a plant that's, that's a new one. Like, oh my God. But the automatics are just. Okay. Just making sure that we, we went away. We went away. I'm recording, honey. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say any bad words. No, you didn't. It is, it is too excited. Watch out. Watch out. Empty. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. You don't want that. You, you don't want that. You don't want that. That ain't gonna make it too happy. Ain't nothing that'll make it happy. He was just chilling. Most of the day, he showed. He's like, oh my. <laughs> or feed me. It gets more excited about getting me getting fed. Yeah, mama don't play. Mama don't play. Daddy plays. Mama don't play. Yeah. Huh. Mama don't play. She said, oh, she, she stopped me from in my tracks. She said, uh uh. Don't do that to me. You can do that to your daddy, but don't do that to me. What are you talking about? Playing. He's just a little kid that won't play. Yeah, he wants to play. But mama don't play. Mama cook. No, papa don't take no mess. Mama don't take no mess. <laughs> yeah, mama don't take no mess. That's right. Mama don't take no mess. Mama don't take no mess. It's, I feel like um, he's getting the house. This is the little lion. This is a little Simba right here. And you, Johnny's Mustafa. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He wants to play. He's like Simba. He's going to wait for my opportunity. That's why I'm waiting for my opportunity. He said, nothing but the facts, man. Nothing but the facts. You're such a good boy. He's good sitting. You're doing good sitting. Got a little feet sitting out like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> you look like from here it looks like you have three feet. You have two feet. Where'd your other foot go? Where'd your other foot go? Right here. Oh, I found it here, right here. Oh. See, I made me some shoes. I wear shoes around here. When it's cold, we're gonna have to get him some little house shoes. <laughs> yeah, his little feet are always cold. Yeah. All right. Do you have any leftovers of that meal last night? Yeah, with the rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is really high. Sisters. Oh, you don't? Yeah. I thought they needed to get up. Pull it right there. I'm going to go down slow. I try to go down slow. Just watch your hands. Yeah, we'll watch this. Watch this rotor. Okay, ready? Yeah, slow. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's tight. It's tight, huh? Yeah, but it's in there. There you go. It's in there. A little bit lower. Oh, it locked. Oh. Oh my god, that looks so nice. It's gonna look better, yeah, without that. Oh yeah. Okay, let me grease that baby up. And then you gotta put that spacer in there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna definitely dig that. Oh, that, that's a much better profile. Ooh. Yeah, I think I like it without the things too. You put all the uh, finances into those wheels, you won't see those. Yeah. Yeah. That's got just a whole different look to it. Ooh, that's beautiful.
So we can take this tag off here. Watch the video this guy talking about his friend had a bike and he never had new tires on it. So <laughs> his friend went out and thought you could just do things because you got to ride them for two miles to it's kind of roughen the tire. Just like shoes. And it they slippery, shoes they slippery. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're real slippery. Can you bump that in, honey? Hold on. Keep going. There you go. There you go. There it goes. There it is, brother. Woo! You forgot. Yeah, he, don't, he don't like that tire. That, that's oh, not right. Oh, God. There. That's beautiful. Look at this tire on the side. This folks are Oh, so my God. Woo! Look at that. The way it spins freely. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Does it have a... It's the nut or chrome? That one? They do have chrome nuts. Um, they get just damaged too quick, huh? No. No? No. No, I can, I can get them a chrome one. There's a washer right here. I might just be the extra. No, no, no. How you sound like him with the chrome with the chrome? You sound like him. Yeah, and it just makes the chrome on... Um, yeah. Um, the spokes pop. Oh, he gonna, he gonna load that wheel right there. Yeah. That is bad. Yeah, I think that's the best decision to take that thing off. Cause oh my God, bro. Yeah. I told you, it's a lot better. You get to highlight the spokes. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love it. I love it. What's the, the, the thing on the outside called? That thing? The wheel? The rotor? The, the rotor? rotor? Yeah. It's on the side. I, yeah, on, on this side. I love the way those look. So these wheels were custom made for this bike mm -hmm. this year. So there's only one rotor on that side. Yeah. And there's only one rotor on this side. Mm -hmm. The belt is drive is over there. So man, it looks great. That does yeah. look better without that. It looks wheel. great. I could have painted that axle for him. I could still cover it and paint it, that axle, but I could get I'm gonna get black axle caps for the caps, it. Caps, right. Just just black, yeah. regular black ones for this bike. I'm gonna go get a snack. Yeah, that looks a lot better without that. Looks good, huh? Yeah. I think you can highlight the wheel like crazy. Bro, I'm glad you were here. This makes it so much more fun having you here. You know what I mean? To be here well, and help me do it, bro? Oh, man. It means a lot, bro. It really does. Like what? Yeah, it means a lot. I'm happy you were here, man. I like, I like tinkering. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really happy that you were here. Card. <laughs> it's, uh, Oh, you see my butt? <laughs> yeah, 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 I usually have to delete all delete that. Delete that. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's going to So, he gonna, oh my God, he is going to freak gonna out. This mine with that. Woo! This goes here when I put the brake caliper on there. Oh my God, I'm excited. I am freaking excited, man. I'm so happy right now. I'm like, wow, I love the thick spokes. Oh my God. <laughs> It does not look like the same bike, man. Nothing. Wow. It does not look like the same bike. You take that backrest off. You <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but he wants it. Let me get over here real quick. Put that back seat on there. Jess, what do you think of that, man? What do you think of that? Back wheel's on, too. I just got to... That screw in the back caliper that where you release the brakes is actually... Uh, Looks really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Are they the same color as the bike? Yeah. Hmm? What's the same color as the bike? Oh, no, no, the bike is blue. Check this girl out. I put the regular axles in there. I'm not sure if my brother in law wants to spend 100 plus on a new axles but it looks, it looks amazing. So we just got the wheels on it today. My brother was off today and I was off today. And uh, we got the wheels on there. 
So hey guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. And if you guys have not joined my Harley giveaway, head over to my website right now, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt, and that's your automatic entry into the giveaway. So guys, not only am I giving away a beautiful Harley, actually two of them right now, the 2009 Ultra and the 2010 Street Glide, but I'm donating $11, not per month, but for every item that I sell, every hat that I sell, every t-shirt that I sell, I'm donating $11 to Tunnel to Towers. Tunnel to Towers, if you guys have never heard of it, it was established after 9-11 with all the first responders, firefighters, police officers, Gold Star and Fallen Soldiers, disabled veterans, who need special things in their home to help them to try to live a normal life again. It's America basically helping Gold Star and Fallen veterans and, and uh, first responders. And you know, they're, they only ask for $11 a month, but I'm donating $11 for every hat or every t-shirt, every item that I sell for my Harley giveaway. Not only would you be entering to win a beautiful Harley, but you would be supporting a great cause, man, supporting our, our first responders our uh, disabled veterans who have children and families who are struggling, who are homeless. They're building homeless shelters for our veterans who are living on the street. They're constructing new homes and existing homes for veterans who are injured and, and having a tough time with their daily tasks, whether it's showering or cooking their own meals or whatever they can do to actually help them live a better life. They're paying off homes and it's just a great cause, man. It's a great cause. So to try to sum it up, that's what I'm doing. And so my prices for all of my, my hats and t-shirts now are going to be $100 and I'm going to donate $11 for every item that I sell, whether it's a hat or a t-shirt. So if you wanna support a good cause, you can go ahead and support that by heading over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. There's six different color hats. There's two different color t-shirts for men. There's four different color shirts for women all the way from medium to extra large for women and I believe medium to 5x for men in charcoal gray and uh, black. Other than that, man, I really want to thank you guys for, for uh, watching my videos. I hope they're keeping you entertained. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers right now. This channel is like a year and a half old. I was hoping that it would grow a lot faster. So if you know anybody that would be interested in winning a beautiful Harley Davidson motorcycle, the tickets are $100. I have 97 slots left. $11 of that $100 is gonna be going to Tunnels to Towers to support our uh, Gold Star veterans and fallen soldiers and first responders. So do me a favor, man, share this video. It's a very important cause. We have to be there for our Americans first, for our fallen soldiers, our Gold Star and disabled veterans and our first responders. We have to be there for them before we help everybody else. I don't see any of these, I'm not trying to put any other countries down, but China's for China, Japan's for Japan, Russia's for Russia. It's about time that we start taking care of our own people. I'm going to be setting up my website so that $11 could automatically come out of every sale and go directly to Tunnels to Towers. But in the meantime, for every sale, I will be processing $11 to Tunnels to Tower and I will be listing that on my website so that you can see that this is legit. And again, not only are you supporting a good cause, you're entering to win a beautiful Harley. There's videos of them, the way they sound, the way they look, they're beautiful. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll respond, make sure to respond to everyone. Other than that, you guys have a great rest of your day. Always remember to ride safe, take care of everything you do and God bless. Oh,